I should be live. Yes, I am a minute late. I took typically I'm never late, but I haven't live streamed in a little while. Let me know how my voice sounds. If you could, I'm sure you could hear me. Let me put that to the live chat that we want to see. I think it's live chat that we want to see. Daniel has to go on. William, Bobby, uh, Jim, the IT guy. Good morning. So it's been a few weeks since I live streamed. I'm just going to wait till I know you guys could hear me. And then, uh, yeah. Uh, Begus, I might have pronounced that wrong. Ali, good morning. John, good morning. Yeah, so it's been two weeks since I've done a live stream. They're going to become more re regular again. Um, yeah, they'll become more regular again. We did a 4 p.m. live stream before, and it it actually did pretty well, so I'm, I'm not too sure what time I'll do it at. Um, these 11 a.m., I usually like getting up early, or I like getting them out of the way because I have more energy in the morning. And it looks like I need a Windows update, so that's great. Emil, Alexander, Tim, how's it going? Good morning. Serge, how's it going? Good morning. Um, we have a little bit to talk about today. I am working on my 2023 Unify video thingy, uh, the full complete build. This is part of, oh, not whatever, there's nothing. Where am I here? So this, hopefully, oh, I'm going to lag, sorry. I got I to gotta shut DaVinci Resolve down. I shouldn't have done that. Um, anyway, it's about 20 some minutes already and we're only through. Let me just bring this notepad over. Oh crap. So this is kind of my notepad, what I'm using. I mean, there, there might be added stuff for the complete unified network setup 2023. And we already talked about this a little bit in a different live stream. Um, there was actually a couple more steps in number one. Did I delete them? Oh yeah, I did. So I just kept deleting things as as I was talking about the topic, but we're showing network diagram, uh, show every how everything connects. I just did my topology on that. I showed a DAC, or I don't know if I showed a DAC cable. Um, which console to buy? This was very brief um, because that, which console and which switches, that could be a whole topic on itself. Uh, initial setup of the UDMSE, it goes same for any Unify console and then adopting UAPs and switches. Tim, thank you so much for the $5. Techno Tim, how's it going? I, uh, I've been seeing your videos lately. They're great. The uh, 45 drives. I didn't realize they were in Canada. They're kind of close to me, a couple provinces away. Um, so the part that I'm up to right now, we've configured the networks. We've done the, you know, Wi-Fi quality service. We've done the traffic restrictions. We kind of touched on that, not too much. I took out link aggregation, so we're not going to do that. Um, we did the internet and then I moved number four. Instead of doing VPNs right after the internet settings, I went down and I started doing firewall rules because we're going to end up doing firewall rules for VPNs as well. And I think it would flow in a bit better and then we'll go into traffic management. It's going to be a long, long video. Uh, let me see. We're still good here, right? No frame start. Okay. This is, yeah, it's weird. I haven't streamed in a while. Uh, Jamie, good morning. How's it going? Arden, how's it going? Uh, Kevin from South Dakota. Yeah, I'm doing great. Yeah. Yeah, Tim's videos are awesome. Yeah, I need to get more into the home labby stuff. I'm just, there's so, there's so many people who do it. And one, I don't know, it doesn't come natural to me compared to like Tim and Lawrence Systems and all. I mean, I guess he does, Lawrence does more enterprise stuff, but or Tom does more enterprise stuff uh we're gonna briefly touch on this subject i don't like saying that word when i'm on youtube for some reason but anyway um and then just like system log stuff and backups and whatnot this video isn't going to go over any the only thing it's going over is unify network that's it we're not touching on unify protect unify access unify talk or uid uh, Three seven four. How's it going, uh, Jack? How's it going, Michael? Really looking forward to the firewall rule discussion. Oh yeah, I didn't. I wasn't gonna put that in there, but I guess I should, shouldn't I? See that video is that's a video on its own as well. I probably should put that in there. Usually when I'm doing videos, I do it like in one shot. Um, like yesterday, I started recording this, and I'm like, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna take my time with this video. I'm not going to do it in one day. I'm going to wear the same shirt so people think that I'm doing it in the same day. And then, um, 
Yeah, because this is a there. There's a lot to go through, especially the VPN section. Like they they have a lot of VPNs now. Like the teleport stuff, whatever. That's straightforward. LTTP, the open VPN, um, connecting with Nord. It's all fairly straightforward. But you could put firewall rules behind it, and I think people will want to see it. Kevin, good morning. Did I turn them off? No, absolutely not. I don't even know how, if you can, Mark. I'm not sure. Um, I didn't post any ads, though. I mean, you could insert them when you're doing live streams, but I didn't do that. So that's on YouTube's end. Uh, Kevin, I don't know if I said hi to you. Uh, will this uh, full setup be one video? It's going to be one video because I asked the community. Let's see if I could find this. I don't think I took it down. Uh, do, 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 wait, under my channel. Pretty sure I put it up here somewhere. A happy Tuesday. No, that's not it. Oh, maybe I took it down. Yeah, I must have taken it down. Unless I put a... I don't know why I would have taken that poll down, though. Hmm. I don't know. It, it Like, I had a poll about going doing long videos and short videos. Oh, here we go, right here. I said, morning, all still waiting on one more unified network update before doing the 2023 build. Please vote below to see which, or like how I should do the video. There was 926 votes. 39% were only for short split up videos. I prefer doing it that way. One, it gives me more content. Um, two, it's easier because it's just like in a little bite size, but everybody wants it one long. So whatever, that's what we're doing. Cyberdog, how's it going? Uh, Dominic, how's it going? From Croatia. Hugh, how's it going? Beast, how's it going? From Austria. Uh, how's your experience with the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus? Is the one terabyte enough for four to five cameras? I think it would be all right if you're using motion only. Yeah, and depends on how many cameras you have. Like what? Uh, yeah, that here. I guess we could get into the talk here. Do I have more pictures on Twitter? I might. Profile. I think I posted some more pictures here. Oh, here we go. So this was at my mom's house with the dream wall. I only put a, I put a one terabyte SD card in this and there's how many cameras on there? I think there's six cameras and it only lasts two days. Um, that's with motion alerts. They do, they have their cameras set up a little different. We could cut down where the motion zones are because it's picking up cars on the road the whole time, but we're ending up putting a four or one of the UNBRs with the four bay. So it all depends. I mean, I would probably, if you're doing cameras, I would go with the UNVR and put one eight terabyte hard drive in it. And then you could expand on there if the time's not long enough for you. Can you do a video, how to connect two separate PFSense LAN into one switch and send the two networks on the same AP? Two PF Sense lands. Are you talking about uh, like two different networks? You could do it. You could do it on one one cable. I have different. I have a video on VLANs. I don't do a ton on PF Sense because Lawrence Systems already does enough on it. Yes, click the like button. We got twelve likes, fifty six people here. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That's actually a good question. I didn't put site to site. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh, I guess I did. Yeah, create manual site-to-site -site -to -site VPN, and then we're gonna create magic site-to-site -site VPN, which is probably the way you should do it instead of doing manual site-to-site. -site. Um, magic site-to-site -site is just way easier. I'm not doing any videos on VPNs connecting to like a UDM connecting to a PFSense. I already have videos on that. That's They're, they're kind of old, but it's the same thing. Show failover and load balancing test both. We're taking out test both. Uh, I already have a video testing that. Let's go like that. And I don't want the video to be over an hour, and I think it's already 20 minutes. Yeah. 
Uh, what else? So on here, this was the install at my mom's. People were saying, oh, why would you put it on a backboard and not, you know, that's a waste of, <laughs> a waste of the dream wall. Well, that's where my parents wanted it. They don't have any drywall in that section of their basement. Uh, so we ended up putting a backboard. This right here is gone. Yes, I have a drip loop, but it's for a U6 mesh now. And that is a G5 bullet, I think. That's just watching a hummingbird feeder. Um, we had to put this conduit in, which doesn't look too bad because it almost matches the color of the house. And that's the G5 with the enhancer. And then there's the G4. It was a fun, it was a fun uh, install. I mean, it wasn't really that hard. Sorry, I was late to see the full list of the Unify complete setup. Is one part about the setup port forwarding? No, I have not. So I don't have any specific solution or um, service like Plex. Um, it, if I did that, people are going to be emailing me or telling me or asking me to do setups for every different service that they want to get running, which there's thousands, right? Um, so it'd be a little different. And I don't use Plex myself. Uh, did you make use of the holes in the back? I did. So here, ah, oh crap. So there's that hole in the back there and we drilled behind it. And that's where the power's routing down and going be behind. And then our internet, I forget how we did the internet. If we did it from the front. Anyway, the internet's connecting down there as well. Alrighty. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty interesting. What else did we, what else has I been up to the last two weeks? Did my stream just die? No, it doesn't look like it. I'm going to just pause that. Uh, my mom bought me this cake. So it was my birthday last weekend and I really wanted to stream. Uh, birthday streams are always fun. And this is what she ended up buying for me. I ate that whole cake myself. Uh, it was actually her birthday party and then my birthday was next day. So she ended up giving me a cake. Uh, let's see. It cut out for a couple seconds and resumed. Weird. That's why, yeah, it looks like it did. Why would it drop like that? I've never had that on YouTube. I, it's only showing me that I've streamed for a minute. Hmm. Hopefully this doesn't happen too much. We'd have, we'll have to see. I haven't have any, had any drop frames though. That's the thing. Not one frame. I wonder if it's on YouTube's end. Anyway, we'll keep going. If it happens again, we'll have to reschedule. How'd they decided that it needs some holes versus a hard drive bay? I'm surprised they didn't put in a hard drive bay instead of that, that, uh, you know, the two PSUs, which is really weird. We have a third party firewall that has two outputs, one LAN. Oh, oh okay. Gotcha. Uh, AP. Y yeah, maybe. I mean, maybe that's something I would do. I would have to, I probably should do some other PF sense. I think Zima board or whatever they're called. They reached out to me for a, it, it's so, it, it's so hard to see what is actual true emails for sponsorship or whatever compared to like phishing links. Cause I mean, I don't know if Tim's still here or whoever does YouTube, Jim, Jason, I see you. Good morning. Um, you just end up getting all these emails from people wanting you to review stuff from shady email addresses. So I think it was the real Zima board. Um, they sent a message out to me saying, we'll pay you this much money for a video on our Zima board, whatever. I'm like, huh, I could make that into a PF sense. I I'm not really the home lab style person. Um, so I'm like, what else would I do it? I mean, I could make it in Proxmox or whatever. And I'm like, I ended up backing it. I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't want to commit to that ubiquity stuff the reason i do so much ubiquity stuff it just comes natural to me and it's it just comes natural to me got twice so we will i will keep a look on that i wonder how that's going to affect the playback anyway uh now i tied them to the connect and the usw so you'd have to put the vlans into the unified network controller and you'd have to tag the ports that are connected to the u6lr aruba Ooh, i'm not a huge fan of the aruba stuff pb300 how's it going you really like the dream wall i like it 
Um, some people were saying, I mean, maybe maybe it's not a real, real review. It's because I had review in the title. Somebody was getting really angry with me. Um, anyway, so I said it's a review. I'm like, what? I guess they wanted me to do routing tests and, you know, all that crap and iperf and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you know what? It's the same stuff pretty well as the UDM Pro and the SE. And I'm sure other people have that. I'm doing an overview of it. And it's to me, it was a review. I mean, maybe it wasn't to somebody else's standards. Um, I said what I liked about it. I said what I didn't like about it. It's fairly pricey, especially for not having a hard drive bay, which kind of sucks because they have the room in it. Um, if I wasn't giving this to my mom, I probably would have opened it up. And the early access one, I've already given away as well. Uh, would you like to test the latest in yeah exactly it's crazy it's crazy and you know how it's like it's been like Tem temu or Tem whatever the heck they're called i kept i keep blocking them and the emails keep coming through we did know he liked ubiquity yeah he should be moving over there in taiwan awesome uh doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I just actually saw on your YouTube page that something about the TP Link video. I'll have to watch that after. Yeah, I think it's Tamu or what, whatever they're called. Anyway, that was my mom's install. That it was fun. I had a good time doing it. The Wi-Fi works awesome outside. Uh, this is what I don't like: the camera capacity. Two days, fourteen hours, twenty minutes. Mind you, we have one four K and we have six. We don't actually have six. We only have five on there. There was one that was removed. Uh, G two starter starter kit professional that was kind of interesting um i really like the new design of the g2 reader which i already had done a video before uh this is track it pacer i don't know if this is still going on this contest anyway there's an ekawa contest going on let me let me post this here oops i don't want sound to go through I actually reached out to Equa as well. So there's a contest going on there. I, oh, you'll have to copy and paste that. I didn't put HT. Uh, you know what I'll do it right now. I don't know if this link will go through or not. Yep. Um. So anyway, there's this contest going on where you could win an Equa Sidekick 2, which is like, yeah, $16,000. Uh, I emailed them after I saw this video actually saying, hey, you want to send me one to do some videos on? They said, uh, we'll think about it maybe later later in the year. So we'll see about that, hopefully. Any thoughts on why the aggregation switch doesn't have support for the RPS connection? Does it not? I have an aggregation switch pro. Are you talking about the pro? I think the pro does, doesn't it? Just go here. Tech specs. This is the best site when you're trying to get marketing images. Okay, so the professional does, the non professional doesn't. The reason? Money. Um, they didn't put it in there because the normal aggregation switch is what, 299 bucks? So it's not a crazy amount of money. Uh, what happened to the Unified Talk conference? I'm not too sure, but they're supposed to be coming out with a whole new line of talk devices so that's gonna be cool yeah everybody say good morning to Chantel please remember to hit the sub, uh, like and subscribe Chantel is Queen B we also do I know she's this is why she's coming in she wants us to share our vlog channel I'm sure uh, we put out Jamaica our Jamaica video uh, anybody if you're interested in that type of stuff it's it's like half hour long or something like that do I even subscribe to it I hope I do I don't think I subscribe to it I don't. What the heck? We're going to end up changing the name probably. Oh crap, I can't even find it through the search results. Uh, oh, how do how do Oh, I put it on Twitter. I put it on Twitter. Okay. So this is the video if anybody is interested. One thing I learned about this one thing I learned, okay, that's like about that is one, I need to wear one of those, what are they called? Lavel mics or Lavelle? I, I don't know how to pronounce it. 
we need to start wearing that because there was a lot of background noise in this video. So the next one that we, you know, next trip we go on, we'll end up doing that. We did, we do have one coming out for Florida. We were just in Florida and we don't have that. Uh, so that's something I learned. What else did I learn about it? I need to get better at editing <laughs> for, for like travel vlogs or whatever we're doing. It's completely different than my tech stuff because mine are just, I'm not super overly fancy. You guys have watched my videos. It's just literally cut, 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 cut. And then that's the video. Um, the other channel should, we should get a little more better with the editing skills there. Uh, best budget PoE switch for the G5 bullet uh, non-ubiquity. Ooh, I don't know. TP link. <laughs> I'm not sure. I, the only switches I really use are ubiquity unless vendors send it to me. Alt allow. No, I, that's, that wouldn't be budget. That's probably the same price. Ever route cable? That's interesting. That would be interesting if they put like a 24, 24 port switch on the back of it and you just cut out like a brush plate or something. That would be a good idea. I should bring that up, that up to them. Uh, what else was, I was going to look at something now. I forget. Oh, I mean, this, this isn't a huge thing. I did, I did a little end of the month ubiquity news video, whatever. I don't even, so they have these cable raceways, which whatever you, you could buy these at any low voltage vendor. Anyway, I don't know if there's anything different, but re that doesn't look too bad. I guess, um, I would still prefer to hide it in the back of the wall. Another thing I should have done or I could have done was kind of built in a patch panel into the wall and then use small little patch cables going into it. But really for my mom's place, there was what, eight cables maybe? I did try the U6 extender. I think I have a video on it. Uh, I am excited for the, uh, the talk line as well. The RPS is pretty pointless. Yeah. I did mention that in my 2023 build video because a lot of, I was showing off, well, do I have my topology off? Uh, what was I using? Lucid app. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's look at this quickly. So this is the topology I'm using for, yeah, whatever for, for the video. Um, and I do have the RPS plugged into my aggregation switch. A lot of people think are, and I've done so many co consulting on this cause they're like, we don't know why it's not working when the power's off. Well, it's a redundant power supply. It's not a UPS. So I did mention that in, in my video. Um, I mean, if you want redundant power supplies, it's good, but I haven't had too many switches fail on me, especially the power supplies anyway. I don't know. I wonder what they're going to come out with for the talk line. I would hope that they're going to come out with like, you know, uh, phones with physical buttons, a conference phone, a Wi-Fi phone would be sweet. Uh, they've already said that they're coming out with soft phones, so that's going to be nice. Uh, what do you think the unified PTZ five, seven, six or seven, one of them? Huh? I'm not too sure what you mean, Max. Unified PTZ five, six, seven. I'm not sure what you mean there. They only have one PTZ camera. What would you say is an all around good camera? Their G four bullets. I really liked. I mean, their G five bullets are great as well. They just have the plastic casing. I, I prefer the metal better. Grandstream PoE switches. Grandstream, I, I tried reaching out to Grandstream before. I never, they don't like me apparently. Um, I am planning on doing a video on Grandstream for high availability on their VoIP phone systems. Oh yeah, I guess the Alta Labs, the little eight port, but the Ubiquity one in the Alta Labs, they're the same price. And I don't think the Alta Labs switches right now support spanning tree protocol. Um, I do have two of their new switches. Uh, Alta Labs. Oh gosh, I was thinking I was going to go to my controller. Oh look, who's that handsome man? Nat. Okay, so products. Yeah, so they sent me these two. Or they sent me all three of these. Um, I haven't taken these ones out of the box, but I could tell you the boxes are exactly the same as what Ubiquity uses. They have that little paper pull string. Um, 
I mean, not a bad thing to copy Ubiquity's packaging because their packaging is awesome. Robert, good morning. How's it going? Uh, Kirk, how's it going? <laughs> Maybe, oh, name Mac Telecom Offline. That's not a bad idea, actually. I was thinking about putting Chantel's name in there somewhere, though. Because uh, not, I think I'm going to record, we're going to a band called Polythia. My brother and I, we're going there October 21st, something like that. And we're doing a meet and greet, getting, you know, I might bring my nylon guitar to get signed by them. And I may do a vlog for that. I'm not too sure yet. Yeah, yeah, split. Well, the one thing that saved me with the RPS, which kind of seemed like it fixed itself. Uh, I dropped my Enterprise switch and it seemed like the P, uh, the PSU was broken. Um, so the Enterprise is, or the RPS is taking care of that. Ellen, good morning from Michigan. How's it going? What will it look like if they come out with, oh, with if they come out with a new one? Oh, I, you're talking about generations. They, they were, there was something that hopefully a different color. I mean, I like the black one, hopefully a smaller footprint because the PTZ cable or cameras are freaking huge. Um, they may not look, they may not look that big here, but when you get them out of the box, they are really, really big cameras. Another thing that I'd like to see ubiquity come out with more is like mounting options for your cameras, like on the PTZ having a bracket that could go on the corner of the buildings instead of having to retrofit one. I think we were using an access one and we had to, uh, I don't know, drill some holes and yeah, it was weird. Yeah. I can't wait to see Polythia. This will be our second time seeing them. Um, let's see Todd 10 N it's like, do I get it signed? So this is, well, Tim Henson is the lead guitarist, Tim Henson and Scott LePage. But this is his custom guitar and I bought it. I'm thinking about getting them to sign like here or maybe at the bottom with like a silver Sharpie. But then I'll never play it. Not that I play it that often. It's a pretty quiet guitar. Uh, you really have to plug it in. But the fretboard is, it's amazing. I love that guitar. Well, let's see. Uh, what do you think Ubiquity is going to make uh, Wi-Fi 6 or 7AP for non-enterprise users? Well, it's just their name, naming convention. They say U6 Enterprise, U6 in-wall enterprise. I have the U6 Enterprise in this office. I have the U6 in-wall downstairs. I think they sent it to me. I can't remember. Um, I think enterprise just, you know, they're just saying it because of the price point of it. Then again, like who has stuff that could really support 6 gigahertz right now? I have this computer and I forget what else. Oh, that computer and this. My Net Ally AirCheck G3. These are the only two devices that support it right now that I have in my network. They, they I mean, they port switches, all the lab switches and stuff work fine. Um, I'll end up doing videos on their other bigger switches. It would be nice if they had a firewall. Oh, the gateway was fat fingered. Oh, gosh. Oh, so you were manually doing... Oh, gotcha. Well, I'm glad you got that solved. That's awesome. Uh, what do you think about um, Microtik, Microtik, whatever way you say it? I think they have their use case. Their price point is good. Um, but like, like a lot of people say, it has a learning curve compared to Ubiquiti, Aruba. I mean, even Cisco, they have a bit of a learning curve. I do have one of their newer routers or firewall, whatever you call it. Um, and I've never taken it out of the box. <laughs> so I did one video on Microtik and that was it. 15 pounds. Yeah, it's heavy. If that falls on somebody, oof. 60 is pretty pointless with seven, but seven hasn't been even like, it's not even an official standard yet. And I think TP link is coming out with a TP link Wi-Fi seven, but okay. The heart, the Wi-Fi seven stuff. Sure. But who, what's supporting it? What chipset are you using that's supporting it? Like it's, it's kind of insane that these standards are getting pushed out and every, there's still people on like Wi-Fi. Well, a lot of my devices are still Wi-Fi four. So whatever. 
How's your experience been with the uh, with that six enterprise and six E some cells? Mine's been fine. Actually, I have my Wi-Fi. I have the six gigahertz turned off. So the six gigahertz, you have to have WPA three, and WPA three is what messes up a lot of the Wi-Fi connections. Yeah, I did a talk with them. I didn't know what was allowed to say or not. The firewall is planned for next year. I know they have uh, have their PoE with the dual. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think they should come out with a cloud key or whatever, whatever the heck you want to call it. I did do a few things on Wi-Fi 7 saying wait until it's ratified. Yes. Uh, I keep getting emailed by Ingenious. I got to do a video on it. They they sent me a bunch of stuff and before and I, I said I'd do a video on it. I just... I know it's not amazing, so that that's I'm not looking forward to it. I know Willie. I think he had a he said something in one of his videos the other day. I forget what his video was on. Anyway, he's like, I'm just showing this, and I anyway, I probably should do a video on it. Why not? I could tell people the good, the bad. It looks nice, kind of. I mean, it's a very plain SD WAN gateway. I honestly don't even know where I put it. I need to go find it. Yeah, I probably should. I'll end up doing a video on it. I have to. Um, also, what else do I have to do a video on? Oh, Lord. It's been sitting in my closet over a year. Azush, Azush, Azush Mesh Wi-Fi? Oh, it's these ones right here. Uh, oh, crap. I got... I want to try to copy the name. I don't know if I can copy the link address. Ah, oh, crap. What is it? It's the GT6. GT6? Is that it? Yeah. So Azus sent me this like, gosh, it's got to be over a year ago. Um, and I still haven't done a video on it. They look, they do look cool. And I'm thinking, um, I used to do two videos a week, but lately it's only been one-ish. I'm very busy actually with on-site jobs. Once I get back into the swings, swing of things, I'm going to do a video on this. Even though I don't typically use mesh systems, uh, we'll see how good it is. I set up a separate six SSID with WPA3 and had to reset or rest. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I just turned it off. When I first was initially testing, it worked okay. I'll probably be wasting my time, but when I agree on something, I probably should do it and get it out. out. Um, same with Protectly. Oh. So they sent me one of their, I mean, I've done videos on their stuff before, but they sent me one of their newer ones. And one of the talking points about them was they opened up a new store in Canada. I think it's in BC somewhere, or it's in Vancouver, yeah. So they sent me one. I'm just conflicted on what I want to do with it and how to make it into an interesting video because I'm not like a hardware YouTuber. Like I'm not, I'm not ripping apart these, you know, firewalls or appliances and showing you the ins and outs of them. And I, that, that's just not what I do, but I was thinking about putting Proxmox on it or maybe OpenSense or PFSense or something. I have one already with XCP and G on. I have a UDMSC and my ISP provides me 2.5 with the 2.5 gig SAP. My uh, UDM won't get full 2.5. Do you know why that is? I'm not 100% sure. Uh, test what your speeds are coming right from your ISP. There's still no VPN on it. It's 900 bucks. Oh, wow. Ingenious stuff isn't easy to find. Uh, I don't even know where we'd buy it. I think I could buy it at a couple local distributors. Maybe on Amazon, probably. Yeah, you should do an Altalabs video. Yeah. Oh, it's a non-standard speed. Okay, that's fine. So mine, I do 3 gig by 3 gig, and I get it. But I'm not plugging directly in. Like, I'm in double dot right now. Try Unify Mesh System. I already have. I think I've done a me or video on Unify Mesh. Unify Mesh. 
think, I think, I think. It was a part of their Amplify line, I believe. Amplify. Uh, it's actually sitting in my garage right now, waiting to... I should just give it away. So I did a video, I believe I did a video on this. This was going back a while ago. It worked. Uh, I think this is US price, 340 bucks. It was decent. I don't try to do a lot of meshing though. Ah, uh, Rajui, Rajui, I think that's what they called. I've had a couple other people, I forget who is, I follow him on. He Anyway, he stops by our, the channel once in a while and he switched over to them. Wouldn't make a good doorstop. I feel bad because they sent it to me, but they they had a bunch of promise features within their line for, I'm talking Ingenious, where I think with one of their APs, you could give your AP to an employee and that would automatically connect to the VPN like right away, like no config and stuff like that. And I believe those features aren't there, uh, which is kind of kind of sucks. Let's see. All right, I'm only going to say this one more time. Uh, do you guys want to hit the like button? We got 76 people here, 35 likes. Amplify is being discounted over here. I suspect it's being wound down. Yeah, prop most likely. Um, I used their Amplify Alien a while ago. It was all right. Did it did the job? There just has there hasn't been that much new out lately. Kind of sucks. Because obviously I like to do. Um, one problem I'm having is the design center. I ha I I'm not able to export designs right now, and I think it's a known issue, which. I got it through once and now I cannot get any any more designs out. So I'm having to like do screenshots of the freaking thing, which which really sucks. Uh, what else we were going to talk about? We were going to talk about the Wi-Fi on a stick. And I think the I think Wi-Fi stands sending this to me. I'm not 100% sure. We were going back and forth with some communications. Um... I was going to buy it and then I'm like, you know what? Why don't I just reach out and see if they'll give it to me for free? And then I'll, you know, include it in the video. So what the heck? This is for doing like pre-deployment videos. We're doing a co co-working space, which I'm going to be able to film. Um, it's for my client that I do a bunch of the security cameras for. Anyway, we're doing a pre-deployment for a co-working space and we want to get a heat map done or we're doing a Wi-Fi on a stick, uh, heat map done, we'll be using one of these stands and we'll be using the Net Ally AirCheck G3. I asked them, they asked me, oh, what do you want? So of course, I got the most, asked for the most, ex <laughs> most expensive one um, because this one comes with power and it comes with wheels too. Some of the stands don't come with wheels and to have to pick it up and move it around, so what you're going to be doing, you're going to be hooking up a access point, whatever one you're planning on deploying at the customer's place. You put, I think we're doing U6 Pros. And then you could do your heat map with that and you can see where you're going to have dead spots. I think it will make for a fairly interesting video. Um, and then we'll end up doing after, we'll do the cabling and all that. There's about 200 cables. And we're going to end up putting in, you know, full network cameras and all that. And then we'll do... At the end, we'll do another Wi-Fi heat scan and see how close we were to what we actually planned out. Have you done a video on how to move Protect from UDMSE Pro? I have not, but it's extremely easy. All you need to do, I can't show it just because, you know, I might show some stuff that I don't want to do. Well, maybe I can show it. Maybe I can show it. Custom. Can I show it? I could do here. I'll just do a screenshot. Easy enough. Oops. I kind of cut it off here. But all you do, you go into protect, click on the settings wheel, and then you go to system and there's this migration. You download the migration file and then you just load that file. You go to import on your UNVR and import it and everything gets brought over. It's so simple. I mean, that would make for a very easy video, I guess. I guess I could do that. It would be like a two minute video, maybe. 
I get that the full 2.5 from my ISP is just uh, just using the modem and bridge modem using TELUS. I just don't uh, want it taking up rack space. If I purchase a 10 gig SAP, could I spoof the Mac? Maybe. I've never done that before, so I'm not 100% sure. Possibly. Point to multipoint. I'd love to do some point to multipoint jobs, but well, we are doing a farm actually. So the electrician cabled everything. Um, I don't know if I could show, I probably shouldn't show the property right now, but if we can film there, we, because this is same client where we're doing this co-working space, but what they did, they, they didn't really understand the distance <laughs> limitation with ethernet. So they ran a conduit from the main farmhouse to the gate, which is pretty far away. Um, and they want to have like a pedestal with gate access or door access system of some sort. So we're either going to tie into unify access or we're going to do pro data key. Um, haven't thought about that quite yet, but I told them we're probably going to have to run a fiber because it's so far away or we're going to end up doing wireless. So we'll see, but it's still not going to be point to multi-point, which we really should have done for this whole job because they have about three or four different buildings on their farm. They have their farmhouse, then they have the, where the horses is, are, the front of the whatever. They thought you had to run ethernet. So they trenched all these conduits, which is probably better anyway. The amount of money they spent on that, we could have done a point to multi-point job for cheaper. Oh, uh, what time is it? We are going mini putting and I think the petting zoo today. What the heck? Just emailed them saying I have to reschedule. God. So I'm starting Orange Theory, which is a workout thing. I have to reschedule tomorrow though because I have a meeting till 10. You got to be there 25 minutes early. I'm not gonna make it. Um, I need to get my cardio cardio back in shape. So we're gonna we're gonna start that. Well, ask your questions if you have any. I'm only probably gonna be on here another. Oh, we've only been going. No, we haven't been going 30 minutes. Probably another 15 minutes or so. Um, I've been really liking Cyberpunk 2077. They just came out with a new update. That's awesome. Let me go back to my Twitter. See what else we've been doing. Oh, this was kind of funny. Somebody painting their AP to blend into the st or to the stones. Uh, this is the new. This is what's supposed to be coming new for Unify Talk. So the first one is a soft phone advanced routing. Uh, which offers more seamless, which CG not, so we could use Starlink, which is great. Uh, the expansion to the UK, which is much needed for people out there. Call metadata, ability to see call routing information, smart attendant, and group. Uh, pro subscription plan with unlimited minutes and additional features. I wonder what those additional features are. Specific emergency address configuration per phone number. I wonder if they're ever going to add in per extension. So if you're doing hoteling, I believe how you do it. Um, I don't deploy in hotels. So that's why I'm saying I believe that's how you do it. I think when, say, if somebody calls 911 in room 101, when whoever picks up at 911 or whatever the operator need to know that they're coming out of room 101. So I'm not too sure if Ubiquiti is going to do that. Paging. Paging is huge. They need paging. And then next generation Unified Talk phone lineup. So I'm very excited to see what phones they got coming out. Uh, hopefully it's sooner than later. I don't know. We'll see. That was five. That wasn't five days ago. That was September 18th. And that was just found. So th here's here's the thing with the ubiquity and their roadmaps. I don't know if Alex Lowe found it or who who found it, but. This was under a discussion in their community. I don't know why they can't post roadmaps directly on their community or post it on Twitter or post it somewhere or unify talk, unify network, protect. I mean, it could be once a month, once every few months, just so we know what's coming down the, you know, coming down the road. Like if you look at some of their firmware updates, uh, virtual router redundancy, where is that? That's been, you know, forever. How long has this PDU been out for? The only reason I bought this was for the VRR. I mean, it is pretty cool. I like having it. It's handy, but. And it's a, it's a little weird having uh, routed redundancy going over a PDU. So maybe they're re redesigning that. I don't know. 
Yeah, can't talk about that, but yeah. See, if you guys are looking at Jim's uh Jim's comment there, I won't mention it, but yeah, you could look at that. That's gonna be cool. So we'll see. Can you put the design and equipment you will use point to multi point? Well, I would. If if we end up doing that, I'll put this I'll put it down for sure. See, I just got a partner. This is the thing. Partnership opportunity. I saw your software review video and would like to know if you're interested in doing a review of Nacho Nacho. What the heck is Nacho Nacho? New. Ah, uh, let's see. That PDU no good for the UK. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to end up coming out with a new version of it. Maybe. Maybe. I, I would assume they would be. I just really want some new phones. That's all I ask for. Not that we deploy a crazy amount of them. Um, I do love having the touch phone, but I also like having physical buttons and they don't have any other options that are at a cheaper uh, price point than like, well, their other phones a little cheaper. So under $199. When you're putting stuff in a warehouse, like you don't want to put a touch touch phone in a warehouse. It's going to get filthy for one. Um, two, it's not, who cares about the screen? Nobody cares about the screen. That's where the USW flexes were great. They were like 29 bucks. You could throw them up on a wall. None of these phones have brackets either, which is a pain in the butt. Oh, I didn't even hear those, those, mer that, those rumors tell us some bell merger. I don't know if it's good. Um, it's probably good that we have three different ISPs in this country. I know there's a bunch of people who backbone off them, but uh, I remember, I think it was Verizon who was trying to come into Canada and then that got, you know, squashed because Rogers and Bell pretty much have a monopoly here. Although I got to say my Bell bill is fairly cheap for three gig by three gig. I think it's like 85 bucks, which isn't bad. I have a Comcast cable and Verizon wireless coming to my UDM. If I set them up to run concurrently if one fails says the other one still continue so if you're low balancing it should yes um i don't do low balancing like hardly ever i just do failover oh they don't have a ux are you talking about the uxg pro or are you talking about something different are you talking about something in ea or not ea whatever the term's called now i think you're i think i know what you're talking about you're not talking about this I believe I know what you're talking about, though. That would be funny because of Rogers and Shaw, but I doubt they will. Yeah, I doubt they will too. Yeah, they'll end up they'll end up charging us more. I w I really wish Verizon would have came into Canada. It would have been awesome. Would have been awesome. What was the name of this? Yeah, I just unified Dreamwall AP on a stick. Uh, what else are we doing? We're doing the compute this thingy, traffic management, blah blah blah. Well, it's firewall rules, system settings, system log, Wi-Fi insights, security. Gosh, there's so much to it. And I guarantee I'm missing stuff. I'll have a lot of, like the firewall rules are pretty basic, what I'm putting in. I'm putting in your base rules and then you could shape them to however you want. I don't use hardly any home automation stuff. Um, for my IoT network, when I'm doing casting, your phones are IoT devices. My phone is in my IoT network, so I don't have issues with it. But you need to make sure MDNS is on if you're trying to cast between networks. MDNS is on by default when you create networks anyway now. So that's pretty good. I want to get this. The mobile router did launch. It did come in Canada, and I know a couple or somebody in my Discord ended up getting it. I don't know if they're in here or not. Who's it with though? Oh, they must have switched this. So anyway, at the beginning it said like it was with Verizon or something like that, but we, we only have Bell and Rogers and Telus here, so five bucks a month Canadian. It's not bad. I just wanted this to, you know, mess around with it. Not impressed with it under the spec yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of people who have been complaining about that too. We have more than uh, two ISPs just in one part. Uh, Altnets? 
Well, we have like the little small companies. I, I forget what they're called. Distributel. Um, they're all smaller ISPs or there's wireless ISPs, but they're all backboned off Bell and Rogers anyway. So if, if, uh, if Bell or Rogers goes down, I think, I forget who went down last year. I think it was Rogers. They went hard down, like their whole network. Never seen that before. Um, luckily I had my primary as Bell. I didn't even notice. And I have two ISPs coming in, but to get them back online, like now what happens, the Canadian government, I think they signed some law that if Bell goes down or Bell or Rogers goes down, they have to help each other get back up and route through their networks. Stuart network services. How's it going? Good morning. I met uh Stuart in Florida or not Stuart, but yeah. Through networking services in Florida. It was fun. Uh, I love some new Unify kit. Just not got the money at the moment. I got two AP Pros. The AP Pros are still fine. Those used to be like our main thing that we put out. A Gen 124 port switch and uh, non-POE and two flexes. Well, I mean, if it works for you, it works for you. Ubiquity gear, once you get into the ecosystem, you're going to want to keep buying new things. Um, everything that comes out. I mean, I do, but, and I feel some people, uh, I don't even want to break. Well, I guess I can. They think just because I don't pay for something that my review isn't valid. Maybe, I guess. I guess in some ways it could always sway your judgment, but it's going back. I'm not, I don't even know where the comment is. There's too many comments. Um, it's going back to the dream all stuff. Somebody was bringing up that I got it for free. So I'm saying this and this, it's like, no, I'm not saying that. I like the dream wall. I told you what was wrong with it. Uh, take it or leave it. Most of the gear that you see on my channel, I buy, I buy. And if I don't buy it, I say it right at the beginning of the video. Yeah, it was Rogers. Okay. It was Rogers. My, so I bell Rogers and Telus is my phone. I don't know why I'm with Telus. I should switch over and, and bundle and save some money. Yeah, well, I had customers calling me. I'm like, I, I can't do anything for you. Like, I can, yeah, I was so, I went to Timmy's that morning. The only thing I had was my debit card. I, that's what ticked me off. <laughs> uh, I need more access points according to the UDM Pro after a recent update. So you're looking at the Wi-Fi insights and it's telling you, yep. I was looking into a unified security gateway three, but I'd need a VSL VDSL modem in some kind of weird sky mesh thing. Oh yeah. I don't know much about that. You should be able to find like a USG three for decent price, like on used marketplaces, maybe. Uh, good morning. Can you recommend base equipment I should consider for a two-story, 3,200 square foot house? Have 30 wireless devices, no cameras at the time. I'd probably still do a UDM Pro. UDM Pro and a couple, well, one, I don't know how much money you're wanting to spend. So if you're just looking for basic stuff, you're not going to add any cameras, I would do a UDM Pro. I'd do a P standard 24 port PoE switch. There's no 10 gig links. They only have 16 PoE ports. And then I do some, uh, maybe three U6 Pros. These are still my go-to because they have Wi-Fi 6 on the 2.4 and the 5. I paid money for my dream wall. I like it. It's not perfect. And hopefully they will uh, do the pro. Yes, I hope so. I paid money for the, oh yeah, and that's a good point. I bought the EA version of it, which was pretty well the same price <laughs> here in Canada. So I did end up paying... I mean, the newer model, I didn't. So I still had to put at the top that, you know, this is paid advertisement or whatever the heck it says. I don't have Telus internet here. I just have Telus cell. Uh, protect viewport. Can it be set up so only select users can use it? Well, the protect viewport, it's just going to be displaying on a, account the whole or on a screen the whole time i haven't used a viewport in a long time i don't even know if they're in stock this is this canva related add-ons oh 
Let me see it. Could it not be an add-on? Oh, here we go. Oh, it is in stock. Oh, maybe I should buy one. It would be really nice if they came up with a UNBR with an HDMI uh, port in it. I actually have USGs here just sitting in a box. Um, who was that again? Oh, a guy, a guy. If you want to email me, I could ship one to you for free. Yeah, I forgot. I got a couple and I'm never going to use them. Uh, if you can't use it though, cause your sky mesh thingy, I mean, yeah, I'm not too sure. I don't even know what that is. It must be where you live. Oh, you know what? The only problem with the USG though would be the power adapter if you live in the e or UK. I'm surprised most of their cameras and stuff are available. I just got to check my phone here quickly. Make sure I'm not late. All right. Oh yeah, PoE on the USG threes. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Uh, thank you. I was not sure what the switch would need with the Pro. I was thinking the switch would uh, be needed if I yeah. So the Pro you would need. Well, I mean, if you're only doing a yeah, I'd just do the Pro. You could do the SE. It does have some PoE ports, but I still, I'd still probably go with the professional and then. The 24 port poe switch standard late you're on a flight from new jersey to south carolina nice shipping might be a nightmare i remember i shipped out somebody won a u6 light um we i used to do giveaways and i i don't know it's very i could still do giveaways but anyway i'm not right now i might in the future um and I shipped it, oh gosh, I think it was to Spain or, I forget where the person won. And it, it wasn't really a nightmare, it just cost a bit of money and it, it took a little while to get there. Which was, uh, which was funny. I thought I had other crap to talk about, I just can't think. Hmm. We are going to be doing deeper dive videos in the Net Ally. I know this probably isn't for everybody. But these are really good Wi-Fi testing tools. I mean, they do have cybersecurity testing tools as well. Um, and they sent me this for free to keep. I think it's about five grand, six grand, something like that. I don't even know. So not everybody, like most people here aren't going to end up getting these. If you're installing Wi-Fi professionally though, like having a Wi-Fi tool like this, it doesn't just do heat maps. It does like a crazy amount of things. So we'll end up getting into that. I really want to get their, I want to get, I, I wanted to get this one, but this one's like 14 grand or something like that. This is their ether scope. So what their ether ether scope does, it does everything that the AirCheck G3 does. So all your Wi-Fi testing, but then it does fiber optic and uh, 10 gig copper testing. So I thought I tried, I tried, tried to get that, but that was a little bit too much. Oh, there's an extreme markup. Oh, I didn't know that. I guess like on Amazon there and stuff there is. For example, the UB patch panel is $20 on the website and it's 50 on eBay. Wow. I don't even think we have the ubiquity patch panel here. Uh, actually, we could talk about the ubiquity patch panel. I meant to put drone footage. This was from my drone, like by my mom's when we were doing that. And I forgot to put it in the dream wall video. Where the heck was it? Yeah, so they ended up putting a... I messaged Ubiquity or my contact to Ubiquity. This is going back months and months ago, saying that you need a cable management arm. This probably isn't the best way to do the cable management arm. They need little, you know... Oh, here, I'll show you the vertical cable one. It's a good try. Vertical cable, 24 port, keystone, patch panel. Like this is kind of how, I mean, this is how you should do it. I use a lot of these. But you can see at the back where they have these little, 
slots. You put a you put a zip tie around it, and I'll, oh, don't do zip ties on here. You're not tying it tight. Like, it's very loose. But it's to manage it right in, and there's numbers on the back of it. That's kind of how you should do it. All right, going into the back of here, and it's great. I love these patch panels. Um, Ubiquity did it a little different. They kind of just put a tray and then a bar. And I'm not, I don't think it comes with any like small little zip ties or pieces of Velcro. I don't believe our website in, the, in Canada, we have these yet anyway. Oh, just send me an email. I'll send it to you. You don't need to worry about the shipping. That's all good. I can't wait for you to do the Net Ally stuff. I'm so excited. Net Ally is great gear. Uh, they were going to send me, because they used to be a couple different brands. I think they were, I think they were part of Fluke before. Fluke and some other brand. I can't, re I can't remember. But this is the one I use right now is the Link Runner AT. It's just a copper tester. It only does one gig. Copper and fiber. Um, Which one was, oh, it was this one they were going to send me. So my contact at Net Ally, he has one that has a their other brand on it. This was before they switched branding. So he's going to see if he could get scraped off and get the new name put on and then send it to me. I should follow up on him with that because this thing, it looks pretty cool. Even though this one's not bad either for the price point, I think it was like 1500 bucks, maybe two grand. It still does printouts. It's not like a full certification tester. But it works really well. Uh, the Net Ally, yes, they do cost a lot. But when you're doing like, I could charge $2,000 to do a heat map scan, right? So you do three of those and then it's paid for. You do mostly support in some installs, but not a lot. Yeah, I mean, and, and a lot of people, they're not going to pay for a heat. Like if they're small business, mid-sized business, they're not paying for a heat map ever. Um, yeah. Al, how's it going? I would say the first part, I am terrible at names. Yeah, the management arm looks a little, it looks a little different. Um, maybe I'll sh send you Bikwi the picture of the vertical cable one. I don't think we have the patch panel here. No, we don't. Unless it's under these. God, I, I just wish all the stores had everything the same. I understand with different power plugs and stuff like that, but when you're going into rack mounts and, you know, um, these type of things, like, I just want the freaking patch panel. I need to redo my network rack too because it is a freaking mess. So I think I'll end up buying a bunch of these and then we'll we'll do a redo of the whole rack. But that will come at a later, later date. There is some other stuff that's coming up that I can't, well, I can't talk about. It's, it was supposed to be in June. Um, but like everything, when things say coming soon with Ubiquity, it doesn't mean that it's like the next day. It's usually like six months to a year. Oh yeah, the, the US and Canada have the same power. So we get that. I'm, I'm talking about you guys down in the UK. Um, you guys have different power, but we don't, like we get stuff late. Your store gets stuff before the Canadian store, and we're bordering the U.S., which is kind of nuts. There were some older generation switches that were came, the industrial switches here. I didn't even think they were making this thing anymore. Uh, this is actually really good. If you're deploying door access, so you got eight PoE++ ports, which I guess $667. You could always just do a... Uh, you could always 660. Yeah, I mean, you pay you pay 400 bucks or 660. You pay 300 bucks more, and you get a 24 port switch. So I guess I would probably end up doing that instead. I plan on running Ethernet at my home, small condo with two bedroom, maybe four or five drops at most. Can you recommend a desk mount Wi-Fi router? Desk mount. Desk mount Wi-Fi router or switch combo that VLAN aware. I guess the Synology, maybe. Uh, Ubiquity doesn't, uh, hold on a second. Or, or the UDM, sorry, the Dream Machine, UDR. But you don't have enough ports with that. You wouldn't have enough ports with the Synology router either. So this is Wi-Fi 6. You could buy this and then you could buy like a little small, you know, flex or... I don't know, one of their A port switches, not that one, that one's stupid expensive. 
like one of these 145 bucks. This is the Canadian store, mind you. Um, the Synology router is not bad though. Synology router. What is it called? Yeah, they, they got a couple here. I don't know how many ports they have though. I don't know if they have PoE either. I still have this in my closet. Yeah, I don't know if they have, I don't know if they have PoE. I would probably just go with the UDR. Depending on the speeds that you're going to be using, the UDR could only do up to about 700 megabits per second. I don't think you guys have the better sockets. I've seen those sockets. I don't like them. It's probably because I'm so used to what we use. Thin wall, maybe? Well, thin wall is good. That's a good access point, but it doesn't do... I mean, it doesn't do routing features. There was something else I wanted you... Uh, Synology to send me. Oh, I was going back and forth with them. I still need to do their camera review. Oh my God. That's been for forever. It's hard doing cameras though. Um, it just doesn't have that much. Not a lot of people view it. They did reach out to me though, saying if I have a customer who is looking to upgrade their Synology NAS, they'll send me a Synology NAS to do the upgrade on, but I have to film the whole thing. So it would be an on-site video. I'd be doing the upgrade. I think that would be really cool. Um, so we're, we're, I'm working on that. I got to find a customer who's <laughs> local to me to be able to do that. Well, you're PCMD. Good to see you. I will be doing my live streams. I'm trying to think like four o'clock was really good. The last time I did four o'clock, it is a lot later in the EU. If I do it, then, um, I think next week I might try out at 4 PM. And then we'll see whichever one does better. Then we'll kind of stick to that. And we'll be doing live streams every Sunday, unless something like major comes up. Uh, I forget when the Alta controller is. Jason's lab probably knows more than me about that. I know it was supposed to only be a few months. The venue, well, they both have swim up bars. Yeah. Yeah, we need to, I need to start using, what are they called? Uh, I have them though. Lavelle mics? I don't even know how to mics. Yeah, Mocha could come in. Come here, Mocha. I bought Rode mics. This was go wireless go to Rode. I bought this and I never used them. I don't know why. Oh, I know why. Because Mocha stole the thing off the top of it. Hey, Moki. Come here. I want to see chat. Oh, that's a big girl. Say hello. Ow. Big girl. Big old girl. You're a big old bobcat. Oh, don't jump on my keyboard, please. Okay, you can go back now. Open the door a bit so she could get out. Um, yeah, so I ended up buying these. This was a, w a while ago, probably, probably last year or something like that. Um, and I haven't hooked them up, but we probably should because in that Jamaica video, there is a lot of background noise. This would be a lot better for vlogging. And they come with these little wind, I forget what you call them. Wind something? Wind breakers? I don't know, something like that. They're like these little puffs little I don't, I don't know what they're called anyway that's what mocha kept stealing off them so i ended up hiding them la valley air mic i mean i gotta try the road first be before anything oh the uk store is down hmm. i personally can't wait for the battery that ubiquity was going to create i need a new ups yes they were supposed to do a battery that could tie into the mission critical switch Coming soon. What did I... I posted that in the Ubiquity Discord the other day. I hate that word. <laughs> coming soon because that's all they that's all they say. Q3 is nearly finished. Yeah, I wonder when they're doing it. I, are they still saying Q3? Uh, UI.com What is it? Under accessory tech? No, it's under new integrations, phone system. Yeah, Q3, 2023. I don't know how big the talk team is, though. I know one person who talks on the, or uh, works on the talk team, and that's it. 
I'm sure they have others. Windscreen, that's it. Yes. Yes, so she keeps stealing the windscreen. Uh, it's just like a little magnetic thing that goes over the mic on those road. And it's... Cats love it. Whatever. I've never used the mic, so she might get some enjoyment. You're, yeah, the, the mission critical switch is pretty big. It's like a full-on server, and it's pretty heavy, too. Have you worked with uh, Microtech Wireless Wire? I haven't. I think Willie Howe was talking about... I, th I don't know if he did a video on it. It looked really freaking cool, though. What's this? Can I go here? Wireless wire. Oh, okay. So Crosstalk did a video on it. Yeah, uh, so did Willie. I think I saw Willie's video on it. That was five years ago. Wow, wow, wee wow. Hmm. I, I've never worked with it, but it looks cool. I might order some of those just to play around with. I haven't ordered new gear from different vendors in quite a while. Q3 2023, yeah, probably. Knowing you, hopefully they come out at the end of this quarter. We'll see if they could stick to that. There's still like things within Unified Talk Canada. Like we don't have business profiles, so we can't have our attestation at level A. Uh, not yet, anyway. I don't know what that SIM port does. I have no clue. It, it has, or SIM card port. It does nothing right now. At least the super fuzzy one. Yep. Oh, they're called dead cats. Oh, I thought just somebody was saying dead cat. I'm like, oh, no, all right, whatever. Dead cats. Let me, uh, ooh, I'm not going to type that into Google. <laughs> I'm good. I don't need to see that. After the issues with the C2 uh, batteries, I wouldn't be, yeah. I'm. You could just buy a good UPS, the mission, and buy a good switch a poe switch and then plug it into there the only i mean the mission critical just has a small little battery in it randy how's it going albert good to see you yeah the wireless wire i wonder how much those are amazon.com i don't even know what it does i kind of forget what it does but oh 217 bucks are they just like point to point antennas? That's all it looks like they are. And then you just attach a wire to it. I, I watched Willie's video like a very long time ago on it. They look cool though. Oh, there we go. Oh, USB. I've done, I think I did a video. Oh yeah. That's exactly what it's called. That's it. Yeah, there's the ones for the road. Yeah, that's what she was chewing. I hope I don't even know if I have them anymore. I have a good I have another road mic attached to no the my 4k camera. Road is it called road mic? Oh, I think I have the road mic pro. Yeah. I, I don't use it though, like rarely ever. Sometimes I do. So I have this and that's on top of my Canon 4K DSLR. It works okay, I guess. But, um, and then I have this Sure. What is this? Sure SM7B, S7, whatever the heck the model is. I have two of them actually. One for the basement, which I haven't even plugged it into my Mac yet. Yeah, USIP Gigabeam. I'm pretty sure I've done a video on those. I still have a pack of, I still have these in my basement. I did a video on this a long time ago. Ubiquity sent it to me. The building to building bridge. I don't know what to do with them. I can't, like, my, I have no reason. I was going to install these at my mom's. Uh, you probably saw that little bunkie that I put the camera and the mesh. I was going to do it there just for, you know, whatever. But it's like four feet away. Like, why, why would I waste those? They're expensive. Just sent you an email. Awesome. I will take a look. It probably won't be till tomorrow. Thank you for the 279. That will get me a large, extra large Timmy's tomorrow. Really appreciate it. Thank you. 
Iggy, how's it going? Need some new 2.5 and 10 gig switch options. Yes. Um, I really do like their enterprise switches. I like the layout of it all going across one row. So the patch panels look a little better. Uh, hi, does anybody know if there's an easy way to mount the UDM SE against an inside of a door? With certain mount brackets, the non-professional way. Well, you can just flip the ears. You just flip the... Yeah, you can just flip the ears. The rack ears. Like, you... The rack ears that come with it, you know, they're usually facing forward. So you put it in a rack. You could just flip it and then screw it into the door. I mean, it might not work amazing, but it'll do the trick. How do I celebrate this? Celebrate the first... I don't even know what this is. Thank you, though. I don't know if I could do anything special here. I don't think so. I do love Timmy's. We don't have, we do have McDonald's in my town. Uh, I think we, we have one McDonald's. We don't have Starbucks or anything here. I usually do like Starbucks, though. Tim Hortons is decent in Canada. I mean, they're over here. We have a few dotted around the country. Yeah, they started putting, I think Burger King bought Tim Hortons. This is going back a few years. And then they started expanding throughout the states and europe and type it's all right uh the states one's kind of better because you get different type of food you get like mac and cheese and here you just get boring sandwiches and donuts mind you i do love donuts uh what do you think about this product g3 flex g3 flex is great uh, mine actually just kind of died on me i don't know if i can show you guys this let's see a lot of my cameras are now taken down because I've been giving them to people, like my mom. Oh, my G3 is down. Oh. You know why it's down? It's because I'm redoing the video and I haven't transferred all over the VLANs yet. But it's having issues with the night vision, so I'm going to have to replace it. But it's been outside for three years and worked great. I'd probably go with the G5 Flex now, though, because you have the um, smart detections on it. You could do a vertical rack. Yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. Uh, vertical switch rack, maybe? Yeah, they got a bunch. I mean, you could buy one of these type things here. And then you could just put the rack ears in. I, for I forgot they did these. That's probably the professional way to do it on that. <laughs> Instead of just, you know, slamming in the rack ears into something. For the Alta, I don't even know because they sent me they sent me it. Um, I'm not too sure if is it on Amazon yet. Amazon.com, Alta Labs, Alta Labs. It might be on Amazon. Ooh, those APs are kind of pricey. It's it doesn't have their switch on there yet, but they have a access point. I don't know if this is reseller either, and this is in U.S. prices, so it's $179 U.S. What is the this is the pro worth in the U.S. here? Pro, pro, pro. Yeah, I, I just don't get the price point on that. It's twenty bucks more. Maybe it is because of the Amazon reseller. I don't know. But you could get a uh, whatever. Their stuff works. It works good. I'm just right now. I'm not. You know, I love uh, Ubiquity. I think. I think YouTube gets a piece of this. I'm not 100% sure. So what happens when you get your revenue that you made over the month? So that includes super chats. That includes, I mean, people could do super chats on your videos that were already recorded. That includes memberships. We have memberships, which is a different way to support. Like you can see Albert, he has this little Mac telecom symbol beside him. So he's a member of our stuff. Right now, I don't do anything special for that. Oh my gosh. Let's look at this. Hold on. Sorry. And don't mind the mess of my garage right now, okay? I'm just going to show you this. No one make fun of the mess of my garage. Look at that. Nilla is on her freaking car. What is she doing in the garage? Yeah, just walking down the front of it. Oh, God. We let them in the garage because they... Yeah, this right here. This mess isn't Chantel. This is all me. So we got some fire alarm cable. We got a bunch of ladders and crap over there. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, so at the end of the month, it all gets bundled together and then YouTube sends it to me. So they probably take a piece of this and then they do end up taxing you like for whatever the Canadian taxes. 
RBI owns Burger King, Tim Hortons, Popeyes, and Firehouse Subs. I haven't had Firehouse Subs in a long time. I used to drink Double Doubles from Tim Hortons, and then I stopped. I tried slowing down my intake on sugar, and so I went to just two cream, and now I'm, I'm actually just one. What do I do? Two almond milk. I was having a pro like stomach issues before. I'm like, oh, maybe it's because of you know, milk and stuff like that. So I went to almond milk. It isn't the milk. I don't know what it was. I feel great now though. I was looking at a few flexes and instant cameras, but they're on and off on the Unify store and also get scalped on eBay. Yeah, I just wait till they get on the Unify store and buy it through them. I hate buying through scalpers. Um, I end up buying through TDL Canada if I can't get anything from the Unify store. The, the flexes are great. I have one in the Cadio, I believe. I G5 flex in the Cadio. It's awesome. Well, Alta Labs is very new, so it's going to be difficult to get their uh, distribution is going to be a little lacking right now until they get, you know, a little bigger. I still have a, a client running the first generation with air cams. Oh, Lord. Yeah, but you should be switching them out for some Rio Link. You love Rio Link. PM, how's it going? Good to see you. What are the heads for? The heads. I don't know what we're talking about. Which heads are we talking about here? You'll have to explain. I, it was probably something I was talking about. Um, that fire alarm cable. Holy crap, is it expensive. I, I usually don't install this stuff. So we had an emergency job for my biggest client. Um, they're like, can you get, you know, seven cat six done and all this fire alarm cable. And it has the link in between. It's for access control. So they're they're putting an open path. I'm like, yeah, sure. So I quoted them this price. I had no idea. It was it's what five conductor and I'm trying to price it out. I don't even know where to buy this stuff. So I had to go through electrical store and what I quoted them, the cable was like three times more. I'm like, yeah, we're going to have to re revise that quote. That knows they're up to Mr. Uh, second. Uh, the camera comes on. Yeah. Well, she, so we have a stroller. If you follow me on Twitter, or whatever, you'd see that our cats are like our lives. So we have a stroller that we take them out with like a baby stroller, but for cats. And she usually goes in the garage and she'll sleep in there. We also have a catio, uh, which has a bunch of, cam or doesn't have a bunch of cameras anymore. It has two cameras in it. So that's their catio. Uh, no one's in there right now. You can see they're up top. When I was first doing my video, I put a bunch of ubiquity gear in here. I had a U6 Pro in there and I'm like, you know what? I'm not putting Wi-Fi in there with my cat. So I ended up taking it down actually at the day of the video release. So I'm like, there's no point. We already get good Wi-Fi in the backyard. Let's see. All right, DJ Tech Support, thank you for the 279. Have a good rest of your Sunday. I don't do any fire. No, I don't do any of that. That was just the access control person asked us if we could run it. I ran it by myself. It was seven stories and it was hell. It was one of the worst cabling jobs just because of the pathways and being by myself. It was not fun. It'll be happening soon. Oh, nice. Heads in the garage on the floor. Heads. I don't know what you mean by heads though. Heads on the floor. Heads, heads, heads. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure what you mean by heads. Are you talking about? Yeah, I don't know what you mean by heads. This is. There's just a crap ton of a mess in here. But Chantel will probably be mad at me showing it. Um. Oops. Yeah, I'm just not sure what you mean by heads. Like we got a giga beam just sitting over there. We have all this stuff that needs to go in the dump. For some reason, my fish tape is lined up to it. This is the fire alarm cable, and this is just all crap that needs to be thrown out actually i don't know if that is i think those are j hooks in those bags pretty sure those are j hooks uh yeah that fire cable is expensive because it's got a higher melting temperature well so i went to one fire or one electrical company and they were going to give me the brown cable which is thermostat cable and it was cheap it was great but for a thousand feet of this cable, I think it came up to 1200 bucks, which I was not expecting. Um, 
yeah, I was not expecting. So I bought one reel of 75 meters. I'm like, ah, oh, that, that should be enough. I'm like, 75 meters is like nothing. So I had to go out and buy another five or 600 feet of it or something like that. And I, I don't want to ever do a job. Well, I don't want to do a job like that by myself again. That was, that was not fun. It did only take me a day to do, but it was just like so stressful because I knew I had to get it done within, I had to be done that night. And it was going from the seventh floor all the way down to their parking garage. That's where their network rack is. They really need to have an IDF somewhere in the building. All right, I'm going to stay on five more minutes to 1230 because I got to get ready to go mini putting. We're actually going back to the, we did another vlog video for this mini putt place. This was our first vlog video. I think we're going to that petting zoo again. I love animals, so I'm, I'm good with that. And we're going back to that mini putt place, but we're going to do the other course. The other course is way better. We're closing some of this stuff down. Uh, coming up on the channel, the 2023 video, that is the next video that will be out. I am, well, how much am I done of it? We are, we're done step one. We're done step two, step three, halfway done step six. And then we got five or four or five seven, eight, nine, 10. So there's a bit more to record. I would assume it will be tomorrow. I got a lot of work, got a lot of uh, consultations Tuesday. I got to go do switch out some access control. Um, they have the person, it's one of my existing clients and they had an onsite job done at their video or I've done a video on their site before, but what they have right now at the front of their door, they just have this reader and they bought one of the new G2 Pros. So I'm gonna be putting that in. I'm hoping it's not too much cutting of the actual frame. I think they're pretty similar on the size of the back of them. So it should just be a swap out, but we'll see. Usually it's never that easy. I don't have a fusion slicer that I could recommend because I don't do a lot of fusion splicing or I don't do any. Uh, who does good fusion splicing? Fusion splicer, well, this would probably be expensive. Ooh, I'm trying to think. Oh God, that's 12 grand. My Lord. You know what? Somebody sent me to do a review on one of their fusion splicers. It was some like Amazon one and I'm sure it would work fine. It, oh, it's probably a Corning one that I'm thinking of. Corning. Corning's like the top of the line and you're paying top of the line dollars for their stuff. Corning. It's only 16,795 bucks. Crazy. That is insane. A lot of the times I end up buying pre, like when we're doing jobs, I'll buy pre-terminated fiber and that's how we'll do it. G3's instant on the UB store is 75 including tax. Yeah, that's actually not bad at all. Uh, fusion splicing is for fiber optic cabling. Yeah, it's for fiber optic cabling. Uh, which I don't, I don't do much of. We don't even get, we don't even get asked a lot. Uh, I'm doing another job. Electricians running all the wires. They want me to do the terminations and they wanted, the company wanted a fiber optic from their L modem to their rack. So I, I said, just buy a 50 foot piece of pre-terminated cable. R realistically, they could have just went on Amazon and bought a 50 foot length of it. And they would have been good. And just LC connectors. Uh, where do I get my pre-terminated fiber from? I think it's Graybar who we go through. I believe that was Graybar. Was it Graybar? Graybar or Annexter? Um, yeah, they'll, they'll put the ends on for you and they'll certify the ends. And then they end up putting it in this like pull sleeve tube. You, can't, you know those finger traps that kids used to play with or man, people play with? It kind of looks like those tubes on the end of the fiber. My uncle was, he had a fiber termination kit and he used to do telecommunications, phone systems, all that stuff. Um, he was like, oh, do you want to buy it? He was going to give it to me for like 1500 bucks. I think he paid three or four grand for it. I didn't, I should have taken him up on the offer, but since he's offered me it or offered me it, I haven't been asked to do one fiber job. Ooh, this coffee is very, very cold. All right, we're going to... What are we doing after? After the next video, 
had a, oh yeah, we're doing the net ally stuff. We'll probably do this. I mean, this might not catch a lot of people's attention, but you know what? We'll see. We'll see how good it is. Does it's tri band Wi Fi 6 uh, up to 10,000 megabits per second? It's supposed to be super fast. I mean, it's, it's pushing more towards the gaming line, obviously, because it's Asus, um, Republic of Gamers, and type of stuff. All right. Anyways, I am going to be out and I'm rambling now. Um, I am going to be out of here for the day. Thank you, everybody, for coming by. Thank you for the super chats and all that good stuff. Watch out for my video. Should be on Wednesday for the full. 2023 once it comes out even if you don't want to watch it if you want to give it a thumbs up that would be great because these videos take a freaking long time to make um and i'll end up saying that in a tweet or something like that if you're not following me on twitter mac telecom or if you're on twitter or x whatever you call it mac telecom networks uh instagram mac telecom networks facebook if you use facebook mac telecom networks all those links and they are going to be in the description of this live stream Everybody have a good rest of your day. I'm going to mini putt and hopefully win. Take care. Thank you.